You're listening to the Small Business Talk podcast with Kathy Smith, episode 62. Small Business Talk is a podcast for business owners and entrepreneurs who want a better way to run their businesses without spending years doing it the hard way. Small Business Talk is hosted by Kathy Smith, who has run the same marketing agency for more than 17 years and help hundreds of business owners achieve their marketing goals. Expand or shrink? How is your business going to survive in this COVID-19 environment? Whether your business is open or closed, you need to be thinking about how to turn this situation into an opportunity. We can't change the situation we face, but we can change how we react to it. Are you seeing it as a grey, stormy cloud or as a silver lining ready for you to take the opportunity that is presented? Making the most of COVID-19, how are you going to do it? Today, that is our topic and I've got a few suggestions for you. So let's start with the number one and you've probably heard it a lot lately over the last few weeks. Stop panicking. Stop watching all the negative Chinese whispers that are going around the world. If you must check in, limit it to twice a day and limit it to actual credible sources, not just something you read on Facebook that somebody else has changed or tweeted or shifted. Get to the actual facts. Go to your government, to the World Health Authority or one of those credible sources. Limit the amount of social media browsing you're doing. Limit the amount of social media that you are browsing. That's only going to take you down a rabbit hole, probably make you depressed, and basically waste your time, your energy, and frankly, probably your sanity. Number three, plan what you are going to do in the next 90 days and then beyond. Take a good hard look at your current situation. Where are you at? Is your business open or closed? What services can you offer right now? What pivot does your business need to take? What resources do you already have that you could sell? What and how could you package up your expertise? Here's a few examples of If you're in a business that normally sells face-to-face, in-person, at markets, party plans or events, you could look at selling your products online through Facebook or Instagram shops, eBay, Etsy or Shopify and then list them into a marketplace that will help to advertise your new shop. Something like lovesellshare.com.au, which is a new marketplace that we've just released to help get the word out. But people want to talk to the maker, you might say, especially if you have some sort of artisan product. Do videos explaining about the product. Make them very visual, showcasing your products. You don't want to be on camera? Oh, well, just show your hands. You can always do it as just a voiceover, but make sure that you're really demonstrating your product, turning it over, unwrapping it, showing parts and pieces, components, as you would explain it to somebody who was standing in front of you. What would you say to that person standing in front of you if they were at your market stall or you were doing a demonstration in their home? That's what you need to do on video. Grapes smell like purple is a famous quote from the movie Under the Tuscan Sun where the lady is invoking the smell in word form to paint a picture of the scene at the local market. Bring your product to life in video form. Movies make us believe all sorts of things and feel many different emotions. You just need to think about how you would normally explain it to somebody sitting in front of you or standing there. Talk to that customer. Put that customer in your mind when you're thinking about how you might do your video. You're aiming to help, not to be model perfect. 
Another thing that you could do is package up your expertise. If you're in the beauty industry, fitness industry, medical industry, any type of service business really, that has been forced to close. Your customers are going to be busting for your service when you're allowed to reopen. In the meantime, you need to start generating some income. And more importantly, keep top of mind to your customers so they don't forget you. How can you help them now? Do tutorials. Maybe do tutorials with a 5% discount on a product that they can use or a free gift added. Are you still able to sell products? Can you sell them online? Send them to them. Give them tips and tricks on how to apply it better, faster, easier. But somebody else is already doing this, you might say. Yes, that might be so. But do you want your tribe learning from that somebody else, remembering them as top of mind, and then going to them once the services are allowed to be performed again, or buying the products from them? Is that what you want? Remember, it's not about perfection. It's just about doing it. What other ways could you sell your services? Do you already have an e-book, a checklist, a meal plan, a workout, or a course? If not, is that something you could do? What resources do you use, give, have that you currently have when you talk to your customers? Can you make those into digital form? Or maybe you need to look at pivoting your business. How can you pivot your business? If you can't offer the services in the traditional way, then think about a way that you can. Maybe you need to add home delivery, a video link via Zoom or Messenger, or there's lots of other softwares out there to do one-on-one consulting or even group consulting. If you've only ever done one-on-one, is group an option for you now? Maybe do a webinar. Show people about how they can change things. Paying for a service that can help you restart your business or continue to make an income might be a wise investment. Remember not to get caught up in buying just for the sake of buying or just because it's another shiny object that everybody else has. So look at your subscriptions and your expenses. If they're helping you right now, then great. If they're not, maybe it's time to talk to the supplier and suspend or cancel them. Even in these trying times, there are businesses that are thriving and growing. And all it takes is sometimes just a little sideways thinking. Who would have thought that a speech pathologist teaching children would be able to take his business totally online within a few weeks? This is exactly what Kyle Meads from the private SLP, which is a speech therapy private practice education for startups, did. He took his actual physical speech pathology business online. Now, the other thing you might be thinking, I don't have the time. Well, as most countries are in lockdown, time shouldn't be an issue. So think about where you are currently spending your time. Do a bit of a time log and see how much time you are really spending on social media. Netflix, sports streaming, procrastinating, cleaning or whatever else your favourite time waster is. With most countries in some form of lockdown at the moment, you have more time than you've ever had. You don't have commute time. You don't have a lot of shopping time, meetings, other things like that that you would generally have. And even if you're doing meetings online, they're quicker than actually going and attending meetings. So if you don't have time, it's probably due to a lack of focus, a lack of motivation, or how you are choosing to spend your current time. That's more likely to be the problem, not lack of time. Following on from this topic, next week my special guest will be talking about Is it the right time to be thinking about starting a business? So stay safe, stay well, and if you need some positive distraction, you can always catch up and listen to or re-listen to some of the episodes of Small Business Talk.
So take care and I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe to Small Business Talk podcast and head on over to smallbusinesstalk.com.au forward slash downloads for all the show notes and links to this episode. Remember, to be great, you must start. Pick one tip from today's episode, take action and implement it. Let's meet again next week at the same time and place. Until then, take action. And SBT community, enjoy your journey.